Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I will solve two interesting examples based on energy. First example is based on time scaling of signal with energy. And second example is based on verification of energy by Parseval's theorem. So let us solve first problem that is based on time scaled signal. If you observe first question, then here for signal x of t, energy is E and we need to identify energy for x of 3t. So first of all, I will explain generalized calculation. One should know energy for x of t is E is equals to integration where limit is there from minus infinite to plus infinite square of the signal. Here we need to identify energy for x of 3t. For generalized calculation, I will consider x of 80. So for signal x of 80, energy, let us say that is E dash, that will be integration from minus infinite to plus infinite square of the signal x of 80, right. Now here, for further calculation, let us consider AT is equals to T dash. In this situation, if you talk about differential term, then a dt that is equals to dt dash means you can say dt that is equals to dt dash by a. And here if you talk about limits of t dash, then t dash will be there as per minus infinite to plus infinite only, right. Now if you place this data in this, then energy will be E dash is equals to integration from minus infinite to plus infinite instead of AT. Now I will substitute T dash, right? And here instead of DT, we need to place DT dash by A. So here you will be observing 1 by A into integration X of T dash whole square DT dash and that is energy E. Right. So if you scale signal as per x of a t, in that case, now new energy that will be actual energy divided by a. So for x of 3 t, energy will be e dash is equals to actual energy divided by 3. So that is how energy calculation is there for time scaled signal. Now I will solve one more example in which I will identify energy and I will verify it by using Parseval's theorem. So here we need to identify energy for x of t and x of t that is given that is e to the power 4t ut. So here I will represent this x of t in terms of limits. So x of t that is e to the power minus 4t for t greater than or equal to 0. The reason is here we are multiplying u of t that is unit step function that is having value 1 for t greater than or equal to 0, right? And u of t is having value 0 for t less than 0. So for t less than 0, here value of this function will be 0. Now I will identify energy as per normal calculation. So energy is integration from minus infinite to plus infinite square of the signal, right? Here we have limits where limit is there as per t greater than or equal to 0. So from 0 to infinite we have value of function that is e to the power minus 4t whole square dt, right? And for t less than 0 it is 0. So here you will be observing this square will be e to the power minus 8t, right? And integration of e to the power minus 8t, that will be e to the power minus 8t divided by minus 8, where limit is there from 0 to infinite. If you substitute the limit, then 1 by 8 into minus, and here e to the power minus infinite minus e to the power 0 will be there, e to the power minus infinite, that is 0, right? And e to the power 0, that is 1, means here minus minus plus and this is 1 by 8. So energy 
of this given signal that is 1 by 8 right now i will verify this using parseval's theorem so first of all one should know how to identify energy using parseval's theorem so here energy using parseval's theorem will be e is equals to 1 by 2 pi integration where limit varies from minus infinite to plus infinite x of omega whole square d omega here x of omega that is signal in terms of frequency domain here we have signal that is there in terms of time domain you can observe to have signal in frequency domain we need to do laplace transform of signal so let me explain how to identify laplace transform see here we have x of t that is e to the power minus 4t ut and if you perform laplace transform then signal will be there in terms of frequency domain x of omega and e to the power minus 4t laplace transform is 1 divided by 4 plus j omega now if you carefully observe here we have x of omega whole square so if you want mode of x of omega whole square then that is magnitude of this right so magnitude will be 1 divided by square of real component that is 16 plus square of imaginary component that is omega square right so let us substitute this in this so we'll be having energy that is 1 by 2 pi where limit ranges from minus infinite to plus infinite and here x of omega square that is 1 divided by 16 plus omega square d omega now here you need to understand one equation of integration let me explain that see if you have integration of a divided by a square plus omega square then that integration is tan inverse omega by a right so we need to form this integration in this form so here you can observe 16 means that is 4 square right so here if i multiply and divide 4 then here we will be having 8 pi in denominator where limit is there from minus infinite to plus infinite and here we will be having 4 divided by 16 plus omega square d omega right now we can integrate this so here this integration will be 1 by 8 pi and this is 10 inverse omega by 4 where limit is there from minus infinite to plus infinite if you substitute the limit then 10 inverse infinite minus 10 inverse minus infinite 10 inverse infinite is pi by 2 and 10 inverse minus infinite is minus pi by 2 so pi by 2 plus minus pi by 2 that is in total pi and that pi and this pi is getting cancelled so energy will be 1 by 8 so you can observe by normal calculation energy is 1 by 8 and as per Parseval's theorem energy is 1 by 8 right so this is how we can identify energy as if you have signal which is complex one and if you can solve that using Laplace transform then one should go for Parseval's theorem otherwise normal calculation is sufficient for energy but here I thought I should explain you how one can verify energy using Parseval's theorem that's why I have done dual check of it I hope you have enjoyed this session still if you have any confusion just place that in comment section I'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video